How does your body combat helminth parasites? Helminths are parasitic worms that belong to a group of complex metazoans and come in many forms. They can suppress immune responses directed towards themselves and other bystander pathogens or antigens, as well as autoimmune and metabolic disorders in chronic infection. This makes these worms especially dangerous. The severity and chronicity of the infection determines the immune response. The immune system will execute a complex series of actions to fight these parasites. Helminth parasites induce a strong type 2 cell-mediated immune response. As mentioned before, the immune system's response depends on the severity and stage of the helminth worm. In early and acute infection, epithelial cells that come in contact with the parasite release a group of alarmins. Alarmins are danger signals released from stressed or infected cells. Alarmins promote activation and differentiation of type 2 innate lymphoid cells and T helper type 2 cells. These cells, once activated, will release the cytokines interleukin-4, interleukin-5, interleukin-9, and interleukin-13. The cytokines will induce goblet cell hyperplasia, high levels of antigen-specific IgG4 and IgE, high levels of peripheral and tissue eosinophils, which are disease-fighting white blood cells, and differentiation of M2 macrophages. If the parasite continues to develop and infection reaches the blood, complement proteins will opsonize the parasite. Now, dendritic cells and macrophages can bind to the complement proteins with their complement receptors. Also happening in the blood, plasma cells secrete IgE antibodies, which play a key role. The IgE antibodies bind to antigens on the parasite. Antibodies bind to mast cells as well on their FC receptor. This causes the mast cells to degranulate and recruit neutrophils and eosinophils. The neutrophils and eosinophils bind to the antibodies attached to the parasite with their FC receptor. Now, those cells will execute antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity response. Present type 1 helper T cells secrete interferon gamma. Interferon gamma activates macrophages while enhancing phagocytosis. To finalize the response, neutrophils, mast cells, and eosinophils all can release chemokines to attract other blood cells. This video only touches upon the immune response to helminth parasites as it becomes much more complex. Thank you for listening to this presentation. To continue learning, visit the sources of this video coming up.